It's been five years since our last visit to Japan, a timescale painfully elongated due to continued COVID restrictions in the country. Our flight would see us departing Heathrow early Saturday morning, before our eventual arrival at Haneda some 12 and a half hours later. It was the start of a journey which would see us taking in Tokyo, Hakone, Osaka, Nagasaki and Kyoto, before bouncing back to Osaka and on to home. At 7 a.m. Sunday morning, with muzzy heads, we were driven towards Asakusa and our hotel, the gate. As would become the norm on the trip, we were far too early to actually get into our room, so we opted instead to explore the local area. Sensoji is Tokyo's oldest temple. As a result, it can become quite crowded, even first thing in the morning. We'd stayed in Asakusa during our previous visit, and we had unfinished business. The first was food related. It's a cute. We did for melon bread. So we've joined a queue, you bought, you're sniffing the melon bread. Oh, it's, it's so light. Come on then. Oh my God. Is it like the ones that come out of packets? No. Okay, it's good, yeah. Having satiated Bridget's need for melon bread, we explored the rest of the temple grounds before making for the banks of the Sumida River. We're in Tokyo, <laughs> and this is the first egg sandwich. It's not even a convenience store one. It's breaking the rules. I know, but it, look, look at it. Is it best than my egg sandwiches? There was more unfinished business. During our previous stay, we'd not walked out to the sky tree, an oversight we were about to put right. Can we agree it's really hard to see the sky tree from underneath the sky tree? Yes, it is really hard to see the sky tree from underneath the sky tree. Mm. If we were going to give tips, tip one would be this. If you see a queue, join it. We joined this particular queue once before and, despite not knowing what we were getting ourselves into, it turned out to be an incredible experience. We would be back here later. Q 
queuing for? Pork. I think that peeped over the top of you then. Hmm? It peeped over the top of you when you gave your answer. Pork. Didn't do it that time. How long have we been queuing for? Uh, 82 minutes. Okay, and how long have we been awake for? Forever and ever. Roughly. I don't know. I don't know. Five days. <laughs> Five days, three months, four years. As good as you remember? I don't know. I mean, I don't really want to say no, it isn't, because it never was going to be, was it? What would you rate that out of 10? Out of 10? Mmm. Uh, I'm going to rate it. An 8. I think that's fair. That's good fun. It dawned on us as we were eating that it wasn't pork after all, but beef. Such is our culinary expertise. Retiring to the hotel's rooftop bar and battling exhaustion, we tried to put the day into some kind of perspective. Uh, what's been your high point of the day so far? Day one? Day one? Or kind of day two if you think about it. But I like... I liked all the things. I liked the sky tree. I liked the dinner. I liked the whiskey. Um, we've done so much stuff today and I can't actually remember what we've done. Oh, the melon bread. Melon bread, all on yeah. no energy at all. Yeah. And an egg sandwich. And an egg sandwich, yeah. That's all you need. The egg sandwich seems about five days ago. Five right? days. Was that really this morning? Yeah. <laughs> Still adjusting to Japanese time, we were up early. Our first destination that day was Tokyo Station. Our train tickets for the next two weeks needed to be processed. There was a brief moment of confusion when Google Maps seemed intent in sending us round and round in circles. But pretty soon, we were on our way to Toyosu to catch the Team Lab Planets exhibition. something we'd recommend? Well, probably not wholeheartedly. 
It was incredibly busy and not really the tranquil spiritual experience advertised. So, of all the towers you've seen, how does the Tokyo Tower rate? Okay, so not as good as the Eiffel Tower. Sky Tree? I think I like Sky Tree better. Okay, that's fair. We'd ended up at Gompachi, or, as it's better known, the Kill Bill restaurant. Now, before anyone starts, yes, it is completely true that this isn't the shooting location from the movie. That was in Shanghai. But it does seem widely endorsed as a key influence on the set design. The beer was cold, the food was good, the venue was atmospheric, and the staff were uniformly excellent. All in all, we had a really good time, and I'd say it was certainly worth a visit. Despite a broken night's sleep, we were up and on our way to explore Shibuya.
We had no real problem tracking down the karaoke bar that they'd used in Lost in Translation. But disappointingly, the annex they'd used for filming was no longer open to the public. So we were forced to seek out other options. Karaoke, is yeah. it for you? I'm not very good at it. I mean, I can't sing. I laughed a lot. You're just one of those I can't sing like I can't sing, but I actually really can't sing. Okay. But a good time was had? Yeah. Yeah. What are our plans for tomorrow? Don't know. Don't know. We're going to go to Shinjuku. Okay because it looks really pretty at night. It's probably our least favorite district of Japan, so it's a bit weird we're going back there, but there are some good arcades there. There and were some good there arcades. There were some good arcades there. And dogs. Dogs. We love the dogs. And it looks really pretty at night, and there's a big virtual cat on a shelf. Mistake, you can't have two fortunes. Well, well, <laughs> I don't think I can tell you. Okay, what was your best thing today? Well, this cornetto is pretty good. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's all good. Um, I like the karaoke. I thought you were a great singer. I think um, that the songs of um, R.E.M. and David Bowie are harder to sing than you would probably imagine. Um, but it was all good. I liked it. What was your least favourite thing? Oh, oh. Trying to get service in some restaurants. Well, no, they were more the pubby ones, weren't they? I'm mm. um, trying to get someone to kind of see me. see. But apart from that, it was good. Because we clearly hadn't been walking enough, we decided to walk from Shibuya all the way to Shinjuku before dark, stopping briefly at Harajuku en route. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it good? I mean, it's good. 
Oh my god, that's the best strawberry I've ever eaten. <laughs> disclosure, the cat footage we shot didn't come out very well, so I stole this from CNN. I'm sure it's fine. What are we doing now? Oh, oh, is it a video? I was doing a sexy pose so you could take my picture. Uh, we're having a beer in a quite a westerny, um, pubby place. With that, our time in Tokyo had come to a close. Tomorrow, we'd be boarding a bullet train for Hakone.